Hi, I'm Dr. Wendy Clark, one of the specialists here at Goldstein Garber and Salama. There are very few ways as dentists that we can save a life. One of the opportunities we have is early detection of oral cancer. In this video, you'll see some of the ways we're employing to try to detect oral cancer even earlier. Enjoy the video and we look forward to seeing your smile soon. Hi, I'm Gail Hyman and I'm a registered dental hygienist at Goldstein Garber and Salama's office. Oral cancer is on the rise. Um, where other cancers have declined, oral cancer has increased over the years. So oral cancer screening in your dental practice is extremely important. Uh, patients want to know more about oral cancer and we are in the perfect position to provide this information. Do you realize that one out of two men and one out of three women will have cancer in their lifetime. 40% of those that get oral cancer are non-smokers. And many of them are new cases each year, of which there are 8,000 deaths. Oral cancer, early detected, can be treated. So we are going to introduce to you a procedure we're using at our office called Oral ID for early detection of oral cancer. When we do our oral cancer examinations at our practice, they consist of a visualization or sight and a palpation or feel. So you will see Gail looking and feeling for anything that's out of the ordinary. Most lesions are caught visually, so she'll retract all the soft tissues out of the way, and you'll, you saw her sticking my cheek out of the way earlier, and she'll continue the exam in just a moment. Or palpation, which is feeling, and which you can see Gail doing right now. She's feeling for any swollen lymph nodes or any lumps or bumps that feel out of the ordinary. Next, we'll utilize an oral cancer screening light, and that will be an adjunct to our eyes. So anything that our eyes couldn't see, this light could potentially pick up. So it's like having a second set of eyes. Anything healthy is going to glow green when you have the glasses on, which is this view, or glow blue or purple when we take the glasses off. If there's an unhealthy or cancer cell, it will show up dark, almost black. The most common site for oral cancer is the side of the tongue, so we always thoroughly examine that area when we're doing our oral cancer screening. The next most common area is the back of the throat. The best way to see that is to retract the tongue a little bit, which you see Gail doing with the gauze, is so that we can visualize better the back of the throat. When we look in the back of the throat, we examine the area around the tonsils and the area on the very back wall of the throat that's difficult to see and that doesn't often get checked by other physicians. So we just wrapped up your oral screening exam with the oral ID. Um, your tissues appear extremely healthy. Look good. Well within normal limits. Um, you did have some plaque on your tongue, so I'm just going to remind you to do some tongue brushing. Okay. In terms of your general tissue health, everything looks like it's well within the normal limits with the fluorescent lighting. Great. There were no dark spots that were early indications of abnormal tissue. I would recommend that we do this screening once a year. Okay. So every year, this time, we'll make a note on your chart for oral cancer screening. In the meantime, if you should notice any changes in your, on your gums or tissues, uh, please bring it to our attention. Great, thank you. You're welcome.